The weird behavior of light. Here I have a light source emitting unpolarized white light onto this sheet right over here. I also have a horizontal polarizing film which I'm going to put in front of this light source. Then I'll put a vertical polarizing film in front of that too and you can see that completely blocks out the light. What would happen if I put a diagonal polarizing film in between these two films? Wow, you can see that the light reappears. This is today's video's topic and let's try to understand it. Here's a light source emitting unpolarized white light onto this screen here. This is a polarizing film arranged in a horizontal direction. A polarizing film is a film that has a lot of slits that go across. In this case, since it's a horizontal polarizing film, the slits are horizontal and they go across horizontally. We use polarizing films in our everyday lives as seen through these polarizing sunglasses. We, if I put these polarizing films in front of a computer screen and I start rotating, you can see that they start blocking out the light. Let's put this polarizing film in front of our light source. You can see that the light reaching the screen decreases significantly. This is because, as I explained, this is a horizontal polarizing film and this only allows the horizontal components of the unpolarized light to pass through. So ultimately what is reaching the screen is horizontally polarized light. If I put the vertical polarizing film in front of that, it blocks out the light completely. Let's try to understand why. A vertical polarizing film is the same thing except the slits are vertical, like this. And so the horizontal light has no vertical component, so the vertical slits don't allow any of the light to pass through. The weirdness comes into play when I use the diagonal polarizing film, and I put it in between the two. So once I slide that there, the light reappears. And let's understand step by step why this happens. So unpolarized light emerges from this light source, and when it reaches the first polarizer, which is the horizontal polarizer, only horizontal components are able to pass through of that light. So horizontal polarized light is traveling from this film to the second film. The second film is diagonal, so the slits are diagonal. Now the horizontal polarized light has some diagonal component, so the diagonal polarized light travels from the second to the third film. So as the diagonal polarized light travels from the second film to the third film, the third film is vertical polarizer. And the diagonal polarized light has some vertical components. So it allows the light to travel vertically onto the screen. So I know this is a little confusing, so let's try to understand this with physical and 3D models. Now let's take a look at this 3D model that we built to explain polarization and the weird behavior of light that we just observed. Light emits as an electromagnetic wave and it has two fields, an oscillating electric field and an oscillating magnetic field. These two fields are perpendicular to one another and they're perpendicular to the direction that the light is going towards. These fields can also be in any of the 360 degrees. Let's take a cross-sectional view of the electric field uh, and see all of its different angles. So here's a cross-sectional view of the electric field and all of the different angles that are appearing. So to make things a little simple, let's take one example that the electric field is appearing in, so at this angle, and let's put it into our experiment. So the first filter that we had was the horizontal polarizing filter. So I'm going to put the horizontal polarizing filter right here. And so when this light hits that horizontal polarizing filter, its horizontal component, as you can see right here, its horizontal component is the only component of light that is able to pass through. And so this is the light ultimately we see hit the screen when we only have the horizontal filter. When we add the vertical filter with this, the vertical filter which has vertical slits, the horizontal polarized light has no vertical components and it's unable to pass the vertical polarizing filter. This results in no light hitting the screen. But what happens when we introduce the diagonal polarizing filter? Let's see what happens. 
So this diagonal polarizing filter, which has diagonal slits, is added between the horizontal polarizing filter and the vertical polarizing filter. So if I make some space and I'll introduce the diagonal polarizing filter, let's see what happens when the horizontally polarized light hits the diagonal polarizer. So ultimately what happens is is that the horizontal polarizing light, polarized light has some uh, diagonal component to it. And we can take a look at that right here. So the horizontal polarized light has some diagonal component to it. And so what happens is, is that the horizontal polarized light hits the diagonal polarizer and its diagonal component continues onwards. So from the second filter, which is the diagonal polarizer, the diagonal polarized light continues onwards until it hits the third filter, which is the vertical polarized filter. And the diagonal polarized light has some vertical component to it. And this vertical component is, as you can see right here, this is what is passed on and it is the only component which is allowed past the vertical filter. And that is what ultimately hits the screen at the end. So hopefully I was able to explain polarization and the strange behavior of light that we observed. And this makes more sense for everybody. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on next week's episode.